Hey, what's going on? It's Joey from the Hitting Performance Lab. What's up, Mr. Ian? Hey, check this out, man. I was going through your videos and or your swings in the video, and one of the swings, actually, we're getting some good forward momentum. The other ones, we tend to stop in ourselves short with our stride. But check this out. This is a, probably one of your better swings. Some of the other ones, we were, weren't hitting very solid, but this one we hit pretty solid as a line drive. Now, I'm going to slow it down for you. Oh, we're going to loop it and see if it loops. Get a little FOMO, a little forward momentum. As so we get back, we really get out there. And we get somewhat of a recoil after the swing, which is what we're looking for. So you kind of recoil back, and you do that on all your swings. But with your other swings, you tend to not get much momentum forward. Now, this is a high pitch, and I think you did it. You swung at a bad high pitch. I think it was the first one, and you did this. You do great with your forward momentum, but it's almost like the lower the pitch gets, the less momentum forward you get. So this is, I don't know if most of your practice swings are on high pitches or what, but, man, this looks good. If we can get that, get your swing to look like that, I mean, this is basically where we're going to have you with an exception of that back foot, we're gonna we're gonna get that back foot to hop up a little bit, a little bit more, right about right here where the red dot is after you swing. But it just kind of stays back there and anchors your hips down. So we're losing a little bit in the transfer of power and impact. Okay, so let's slow this down. So we'll get you going to the swing, and then we'll kind of stop it. So we worked on some foundational stuff, as you remember, we did your your FMS and filmed your swing on your on the first day, so the swing eval. And let's look at your vision next. Vision after foundation is a big thing. Now actually let's since this is this swing's an anomaly, let's change this up. Let's go to another swing. So this swing's kind of an anomaly. It's you're not doing this, I don't think even on the next one. Let me see. It's uh, a low pitch. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Still kind of stop yourself a little short, but not bad. So the first few swings, let's get maybe the one before this good one. I think it's the decent one. Let me see here. A decent contact point. Yeah, this one is a little, you're kind of rushed. See, that foot didn't come down, but still okay swing, but more resembles the majority of the swings that you took on this day. So what we want to do is look at your vision and see once that heel hits the ground, how your head action is. So let's see, up, see right there. So we're going to put a big circle around your head and see where your nose goes. Not bad. Head doesn't move much. You get, you get a little bit of back thrust from your recoil, pushing back, which... We don't have to do quite as much, but much better. Get your get your nose behind the barrel. Eyes look like they're pretty good. I mean, kind of out here, but that contact, you know, where nose is on the ball. So vision looks pretty good. You're doing pretty good at that. Good job. You are a small percentage of my hitters that tend to have decent vision in the start. So there's a reason why you bat first in your contact, guys, because you keep those eyes there. Your vision is pretty consistent. Most kids, it's not. Most hitters, their vision isn't very good in the beginning. So nice job with that. We talked about forward momentum. Now you got a couple swings in this little six-pack of swings that we got that you do do some forward momentum. But other, I mean, this was kind of an anomaly, too. Let me see if we can grab one of the front first ones here. Not one of the best, but... Not one of the best contact swings, but this this was the majority of your swings on this film. But what you're going to see is vision's okay. Let's check it one more time. Yeah, vision looks pretty good. Now we miss hit this ball a little bit, and that's the true test too on a miss hit ball. If we keep everything intact, that's usually our default movement pattern. You'll see you'll see kids start to if they're good at, on a good pitch with their eyes, they'll screw up when they hit a bad pitch. So you're pretty good there. But here's the thing. We need to get consistent with forward momentum. So on our next meeting, what we're going to work on, I don't want you to work on forward momentum until I see you again. I want you to work on your grip. That was one of the things that we we changed a little bit in your foundation. So work on your grip, and then the next meeting that we have, because I just want to make sure you're doing the forward momentum right. 
So I want to be there when you're when you're working on it. So that's what we're going to work on next time. We're going to work on getting you more consistent with that long step. We we do what we call we'll start with the half Babe Ruth drill and then we'll prime move you to the T pretty quick because you 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 have it. It's there. We just need to pull it out and make that the priority for your brain. Okay, and then like I said, the other thing is you're you're getting decent movement with the back foot. You're just not it's not moving much. I always call the front foot the gas pedal and the back foot the brake. So we got to push the gas pedal to go anywhere, and we got to take our foot off the brake. Even if we're pushing the gas, we're going to spin our tires. So we got to make sure we're taking our foot off the brake. So we'll work on that. But your finished position looks really good, man. You've been putting in some good work. I mean, that's a good or not finished position. Your contact position. Besides your arms here, we'll talk about in a minute. But your legs, with an exception, this leg getting straight. But when you get forward momentum, this leg gets pretty straight on your forward momentum swings in this video. And you have good good movement with your back leg. Just like I said, we're just not getting that back foot to, we're not taking the anchor. We're not taking up the anchor. Once we get past forward momentum, we get you consistent with that, we're going to work on the catapult loading system, which so far you look okay and we get a little bit of a downward angle with the shoulders not quite not quite as much as we'll be getting but but that's a good start to getting us into that good explosive rotational power but as you can see your arm your hands kind of move away from your body so your load depends and you've probably been taught as I was taught at your age is you load with your hands you push them back as your front foot comes forward well that's not actually what happens the when you look at the smaller guys hitting like the big guys the hands actually push behind the hitter towards the third base dugout they push behind so they stay tight to the body but they push back to where the pitcher is going to be able to see your numbers on your back pretty clearly so instead of going back we want to actually pull them pull them like we're like a boxer pulls a punch so what's happening because we're pushing them back is you're going to see that front arm bar and that's why we're hitting a lot of balls the other way even inside pitches and getting jammed a lot you can see this arm barring quite a bit right here and this causes his back elbow to race a little bit race forward and causes us to not really have a lot of force at impact it acts like a parachute on the barrel this is the reason why a lot of that but we'll clean that up man you're so far we got some good stuff to work work with in your swing it's there we just need to dust it off a little bit and get you going this next season's going to be fun for you my brother you probably won't be batting first maybe like third hopefully so keep up the good work and i'll see you next time brother